What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Mets franchise and today we're going to be jumping into a game against the Nationals, an important series here getting toward the end of the year. They have a 2-1 lead and we're trying to even up this series. Let's jump into it. MLB ball on tap from lovely City Field in Flushing, Queens. Today it's the finale of this four game set between the Washington Nationals and the New York Mets. Division rivals do battle next. And of course, so the Washington Nationals, they picked up the first couple games. We're trying to even the series here. And they're our main rival. We really need to get it done. Thank God that ball didn't stay fair. We are going to end up putting in a curveball there. And it gets hit. Unfortunate. And Washington takes an early lead a good curveball there but it was hit and a little bit later we do get out of that inning nice pitch there a little bit off speed to get us out of there just a little bit later we do hit a nice shot here man whoa long home run and that is gonna tie up the game 1-1 and we were in a couple sticky situations throughout this game here a foul ball but the bases are loaded I really needed to make a good pitch we go with a high fastball there and now we're going back down low let's see if we can get him he doesn't chase man that was actually a really nice pitch unfortunate and we go with another one what a curveball that was spinning on it it's like we have the ball on a string as it drops there and we end up getting a big strikeout with bases loaded one more time another one and gazelman is gonna get us out of a jam still tied one to one a little bit later in the game, we were putting on the pressure. Wilmer Flores is going to bounce one off the pitcher. He makes the play there at first, but the runner does come home. So, a little 2-1 lead. We're trying to hold it here. Bryce Harper up at bat with two men on, and we leave a hanging curveball there. He's going to get a simple single, or it should have been a single, but what is my defense doing? We're trying to get the ball in, but it's going to be up bases clearing triple for Bryce Harper the sketchy defense from me continues to come and that is never what we want to see here a little bit later Conforto was trying to get us back into it but a big double play that's not good boys the Nationals they're gonna be trying to close us down here at the end of the game so we're down 2-1 in this series the Nationals are trying to pick up three games here in New York as well not what we want we got our boy our powerful hitter Yoana Cespedes coming up to bat though with a chance to get us back in the game let's see what he can do here we got one man on and he puts a shot into this one it's going to left field the left fielder looks up and it is gone into the upper deck there we end up making this a game Todd Frazier is going to come in for third base and we bring in Familia to close it down with a one run lead there Cespedes coming up clutch for us once again and we bring in our boy to shut this game down he's been so clutch this year continuing to perform with a one ERA that's always what you want to see First up to bat for them is Adam Eaton, and he's going to end up putting a shot into this one. So they start off with a single. A little bit sketchy so far. Hopefully, we can continue to shut him down. This is a very dangerous situation, but we got a 2-1 count on him, and I decided to attack. We're going to put that fastball. Well, I wanted it up high, but we end up making him pop out here, and we end up holding the runner to first base. So he doesn't get into scoring position. A little bit later, Zim. Zimmerman, he's going to look at the high heat for a strike three, and we are two outs, only one out away from getting out of this. Come on, man. And here's the matchup. Daniel Murphy, a former New York Met. I'm going to change the eye level with a high fastball, and then we're going back down low. 
we have really good pitches splitter slider let's see what we can do here we go with the splitter and it just hangs a little bit low what an eye from Daniel Murphy laying off that pitch I decided to keep it low though I wanted to go a little bit away and we get it there a good swing by him to barely follow it off we continue with this battle one more strike for them and he swings through the fastball up and in after a few low pitches we come back up high Cespedes is going to be the player of the game in this one giving us that two run home run and the lead in the game he continues to perform for the New York Mets the players around him really do need to fill in a little bit better in the middle of the lineup we've been going a lot of power lately and I've honestly been struggling to string a bunch of small hits like singles and doubles together but that's kind of how it goes I'll continue to play a few more games here before the end of the year I really really want to prepare and get good at this game before we jump into the end of the season and potentially a playoff run or maybe even the World Series so Cespedes with a home run in that one once again giving us that huge lead Familia closing it down in the end a good performance here looking at the box score we had to use a few pitchers but we got through it the all-star game is going to be featured in the next episode guys and also the home run derby this one a little bit shorter hope you guys enjoyed this one drop a like if you did subscribe if you're new around here I'm going to end this one with some highlights and we'll see you guys soon for the home run derby and the all-star game see you then Time is long, three hours and five minutes. Our paid attendance this afternoon has been moved to 45,000. The Mets thank you for your continued support and remind you to please drive home safely.